that crouch. That's specifically a, hey, buddy, I got a lesson to tell you. Yeah, that's that's the Chris Farley. You're living in a van down by the river. Like, <laughs> that's so funny. You're great at impressions. Oh, thank you. That's like a secret talent. You know, people, I've realized that you know, when people are like, man, Norm, you're a great singer. Where did you learn how to sing? I learned how to sing practicing and mimicking other singers. Like I didn't like singing the songs unless I was singing it to the best of my ability in a way that they were singing it. So yeah. I would try to mimic them. Like I would try to sound like Cisco <clears throat> when I would sing fucking so in my bed. I'd even be like, I got yeah. Like I would literally try to embody that voice. And so what I was inadvertently doing was practicing different singing and vocal uh, lessons, different vocal styles yeah. to the point where uh, I will almost like equate it to the way I was influenced by graffiti. In the beginning, I would copy all these different styles until I eventually formed a style that had all the different styles that I copied from, which made my own style. Right. It was just elements of like six other people's styles to create mine. So eventually in practicing other people's singing styles, I found where my voice lies, like my range where I, I, I'm suited because a lot of people will have great voices, mm -hmm. but they don't sing within their range. Right. It's just like yeah. as a fighter, you know, fight within your weight class. You know what I'm saying? But some guys can still go up a class or go below, but like, you got to be yeah. really special for that. And for me, I started to realize, yeah. no, this is where you lie. Stay here. Don't got it. Don't try to go too low. And but that that all came from trying to like, can I sing like uh, Luther Vandross? Can I sing like Ted Frank Bindu? Sinatra? Frank Sinatra. And eventually, yeah. it, it it just became I became a really good impersonator before I became a great singer. Hmm, that's interesting. That's so fascinating. Because, yeah, like, I remember when I'd be singing... And it's like, knowing that is just like, that's just a, a breakdown of, of comedic evolution that I would have never considered. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, you create... That's interesting. That's fascinating. And even listening to something like... Oh, man. Listening to something like All for One, and... Yeah. I would sing, I swear, remember, I swear, I swear by the moon and the star. And I have this joke where, like, I break down every voice of the members of the group, right? But as I'm doing it, I didn't realize, I knew I was telling something funny, but I didn't realize I was doing an impersonation joke as I was, when I first started doing it. But when I realized I was just doing really spun on, impersonations of each member of the group people were not only laughing at the fact that i'm sharing a truth that they didn't realize they knew i was saying yo this is the most random collection of r&b singers okay the united colors of benetton within a group right you have the one white guy that looks like billy from the power rangers you know blonde blue blue eyes glasses you know, with sweet ass falsetto, oh, you're like so in love, and you're like, oh, you go Blue Ranger. You know what I'm saying? And then you had the tall guy, who who was like the biggest dude, right? He looked kind of like a cross between Forrest Whitaker and Luther Vandross if they had a baby. But then his voice was so high. You're like, remember his voice? I see the questions in your eyes. I know it's weighing on your mind. Right? Very high, squeaky voice. But then the littlest guy had the biggest voice, right? Big ass mouth, always eating the microphone. And though I made mistakes, I will bring your heart. And now I'm literally mimicking every voice, right? But I'm just doing it because I want to sing the song. I have, my OCD is so like up there that mm -hmm. I need to sing the song exactly how it sounds. 